Welcome to Multinest Design Essential Review Tutorial. In this project, we are going to talk about how to create a, a realistic camera view. Something that is an impressive camera view that can okay, capture the whole beauty. A lot of people find it, they don't know how to create a, an impressive camera that's okay. We capture the whole beauty. But in this little short video, Take your time, watch as we create something impressive in a Revit uh, 2023. So this is the one we have already done in existence. The first thing you need to do is to go to your floor plan. So double click. So at your, at your full of level plan, what you just go, go to view, select 3D. Okay, select camera so the angle you want to pick is very important so just let's let's pick something like this particular angle you can extend it from outside then pick it around and say okay so it has picked what you want to do so this is the wall what you need to do is to hide this click on this and hide you can do the same thing by hiding any element that you know that okay is not compulsory in this part of the project. So zoom out, create this, open the the clip, extend it upward. Do the same thing here. So now right click and say zoom to fit. So here I'm not getting the kind of light I want. So go to your graphics display. Let it be realistic. So allow it to wait. So I don't like this kind of the way the uh, camera. I want it to take a normal aspect of camera. So you go to elevation, press 500, then go to high target, press 500. So to apply. Look at it. You see that it didn't change, and it gives you more impression as if the building is you are taking the camera all the way from what from ground level so by doing that you have already achieved what you want to do so you crop and you resize if you want like something like third uh third angle kind of a camera you extend it so this aspect will be more longer and you have more space to display your background and focus on your background separately than this one so that is how to choose an impressive camera in a revit with this one you'll be able any angle you like so you take it from any part again you get it right and you get it done so before you do your rendering and get everything in appropriate so thanks for watching please share subscribe and like you can comment comment and let us know your feedback on this particular tutorial